Okay, for those of you who may have slept since then, what you're going to be doing today, on Thursday, is you're going to be doing the foldables that I asked you guys to do in the last class, and here's what the foldables look like. Again, you're going to have it folded three ways. Okay, we'll talk about the folding part of it. What you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of paper and you're going to fold it over once, and you're going to fold it over again to where you have three equal pieces. You're then going to unfold it. When you unfold it, on one end you're going to cut where you have this flap and this flap and this flap. Then you're going to turn it over to this side, and at this point now you're ready to start writing information. So for your information, you scroll down here in Schoolology, Lesson 15, and you go to the one that says Rock Cycle Foldable Front, and you open that up. And for yours, you're probably going to have to turn it until it's upright. And as you can see, I've got this original one, and then I have the one that you have to do right here. On the top of it, you have igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. I need a definition, and I need an example of each one of them. On the examples, those need to be a specific rock. Okay, so for igneous rock, example-wise, you would, you would use a rock like granite, potash granite or sodium granite. And you're going to do the same thing for the others. And then you scroll down to the other end, and that's going to be the front tab right here that's going to be folded up. Okay, definitions. Use definitions from the textbook, or if you can find one off the Internet, that would also be acceptable. Then you're going to do the second part of this. In the second part, go back to the lesson. What you're going to do is you're going to open up Rock Cycle Foldable Back. And on the back, again, you're going to want to turn this to where it's easier for you to ver view it. And on the top of it, it's going to say Rock Cycle Diagram. That's the top third, and you can see it right here. On the top third, you can use the one from the textbook, and that will be found on page 285. Also, you can go to the Internet if you find one that you like better. Again, you're using colors for these. Color pencils are available over on the side cabinet, so use color pencils if needed. You go down to the middle, where the middle flap is, and again, you're going to write down igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic ways formed. I want the specific way these have to form, such as with igneous, this has to form when magma cools and hardens to become a rock, or lava cools and hardens to become a rock. And then types. There are different types of igneous rock. And in the case of igneous rock, in your textbook, look under the section for igneous rocks. You have an igneous section, a sedimentary, and a metamorphic after page 285 from the textbook. Okay? So you're going to tell me actual types of them. Again, I gave the example for metamorphic in class and said so that was foliated, non-foliated. Make sure you're using complete sentences on these. Then, down here, and this is probably the most important part of the lesson. On this part of it, you have an igneous rock column. Okay? And you can see this right here with this flap. For igneous rock and the column. Down here, what has to happen for an igneous rock to become sedimentary? So in this case, you're going to tell me you have an igneous rock. Look at the rock cycle and follow the rock cycle along and tell me the steps that happen straight to sedimentary from igneous and then do the same thing for metamorphic. Then go to sedimentary. How does a sedimentary rock become an igneous? An example we gave in class, we said that a sedimentary rock, in this case, has to melt, then it has to cool, and once it cools, the sedimentary rock then has become an igneous rock. And you do the same thing for metamorphic. You're going to have this folded up with the flaps on the inside, this folded down, and your teacher will have this copy available for you in case you need to see one of the paper versions of how to cut it and fold it. Again, the scissors are in the back cabinet if you need them. The color pencils are on the side cabinet. This is your assignment for Thursday. And just an advanced knowledge, if you work hard during this class period and don't get done, you're going to have more time. But if I find that things didn't go well in class, then it's due when you come back to class on Monday. Okay. On your second activity... We're going to go back up here to the lesson. This is for Friday. On Friday, you're going to be completing the Rock Cycle Web Quest. So all you have to do is click on it, and it takes you directly to the Web Quest. On the Web Quest, you will receive a paper copy from your substitute. And on this, it says on the following, go to the following website. So all you have to do is control click on this website. It says begin types of rock, read over the descriptions of igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. 
Then scroll to the bottom and examine what to look for chart. Write down the six clues. So I'm going to show this one to you. You go to the website and it says down here, begin with types of rocks. You click there and you scroll down and at the bottom of the page, what to look for. Here's a chart, the key six characteristics. Crystals, fossils. So you have these six. Those are going to be the answers for your first question. You proceed to do the same thing for the remainder of the web quest. And again, on the, web on the web quest, I'm requesting that it be done and turned in at the end of class. Only if I get good remarks from the substitute will you be allowed extra time if I get good remarks. Okay. These are what your assignments are for Thursday and Friday. Again, Thursday, you are doing the foldables, and on Friday, you are doing the web quest. Okay? Any other work that you owe me, you make sure and place it in the tray because otherwise it will be counted late. All right? Thank you.